Rockets look almost magical massive machines blasting upward, fighting gravity, and somehow soaring through the vacuum of space. But the science behind how rockets really work is way simpler and way more mind-blowing than most people think. The key to everything is Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. A rocket doesn't push against the air, it pushes against itself. Here's how. Inside a rocket engine, fuel and oxygen mix and explode. That explosion shoots hot gas downward at extreme speed, and because of action and reaction, the rocket is pushed upward with equal force. That's why rockets can fly in space. They carry their own oxygen. They don't need air. They bring everything they need to create that massive downward blast. But here's the part most people don't realize. The shape of the rocket nozzle is just as important as the fuel. The nozzle squeezes the gas, accelerates it, and then lets it expand, turning pressure into pure thrust. It's like taking a giant explosion and shaping it into a precise, powerful kick. As the rocket rises, the fuel burns, the craft gets lighter, and the same engine produces more acceleration. That's why rockets start slow and then suddenly become incredibly fast. Stage by stage, the rocket drops empty tanks to shed weight, because in space travel, every kilogram matters. By the time the final stage fires, the rocket is basically a tiny capsule riding on an enormous explosion. And that's how a rocket escapes Earth, not with wings, not with air, but with pure physics and controlled chaos. If you want the full breakdown of how rocket engines, nozzles, staging, and space travel really work, check out the full video on our channel.